Hi everybody, my name is Bethany, and some of you may know who I am, some of you may not know who I am, but I grew up going to mainland just like you are, and um, I have gone to mainland from the time I was a little baby to the time I moved away for college, and I always love um, whenever I, I am home here in New Jersey, I can come and visit um, with my mainland family and I always enjoy seeing you guys. So I am really excited to be here tonight and to um, do tonight's King's Kids um, story with you guys. And what we're going to read today um, is about Jesus's helpers and his followers. And um, I hope you can see these pictures, okay? Jesus did many wonderful things, as we know. He healed diseases. He gave troubled people peace in their hearts and minds, and he taught God's word. Crowds and crowds of people would come to see Jesus for help and for healing. So he decided to choose 12 men from his many followers to help him in his work for God. Now, if you have important choices to make, do you pray to God? Well, Jesus did, and if Jesus did it, then so should we. In a quiet mountain place, he spoke to his heavenly father. Jesus prayed all the way until the sun went down and he prayed all through the long, dark night. And that's a long time. But in the morning when he woke up, Jesus called his followers, all of those friends who served and obeyed him. And from them, he chose 12 to be his special helpers or apostles as the Bible calls them. The first two that Jesus chose were actually brothers, and one was named Simon Peter and the other was named Andrew. And Simon Peter and Andrew left their fishing business when Jesus first called them to go and follow him. And there you can see Jesus asking them to come and follow him, and they're laying down their fishing nets, and they were ready to obey. Um, some other followers were James and John, and they were brothers as well sons of Zebedee, and they also left behind their fishing business to follow Jesus. Some of the other men that Jesus chose for his followers were Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, Simon the Zealot, James the son of Alphaeus, Judas the brother of James, and Judas Iscariot, who we know later became Jesus's enemy. Now, Jesus taught many lessons and he gave many examples to us. And one of the, um, one of my favorite lessons and examples that he has given in his word is the example of the house built on a rock and a house built on the sand. And this house that I'm sitting in right now, my dad actually built this house. And I can remember back when I was in the first grade when we were building this house, before they could build the walls or build the roof or we could start moving all of our furniture in, the very most important thing was he had to build the foundation. And the foundation is there so that the house doesn't fall down, which is very important, isn't it? So my dad, when he was building this house, he didn't pick soft materials to build the foundation. He didn't get sand from the beach. He didn't get hay from a barn. He got cement. And if you know what cement is, it's a very hard thing, isn't it? It's like a rock. It won't budge. And so that's what Jesus says our life will be like if we obey him and we follow him. It says that Jesus taught that doing what he says and obeying him is just like building a house on a solid foundation. And when a fierce storm comes through, like we had the other night, if a fierce storm comes through, the storm will not destroy the house because it's built on a solid rock. But if we do not build our house on a solid rock, if we don't live our lives in obedience to God's word, it's like building a house on a sandy foundation. When a storm comes, the house is going to fall. And that's not very good, is it? Some of Jesus' commandments that he wants us to obey are sometimes kind of hard to obey. If a man slaps you on the right cheek, Jesus says to offer your left cheek also. He teaches us to love our enemies, and that can be very hard to do sometimes. So we need to ask God's help for us to love people like he loves them. 
Jesus also told the people to pray in secret, not to show off their prayers in front of men as some of the religious leaders of Jesus' day did. Now, Jesus said that God would feed and clothe people who trust in him. If we trust and obey in God, he's going to take care of all of our needs. Since God gives us food, since God gives food to the birds and the beautiful colors to the flowers and all of the shrubs, don't you think that God is going to take care of his people, the ones he loves so much? Of course he will. We can trust him to take care of our needs. Jesus taught his newly chosen helpers many, many things that day. And when he finished, guess what? A leper came begging Jesus to heal him. Okay, this man had leprosy and it was a terrible disease and he was begging the Lord to heal him and to help him. Jesus answered the leper, I will help you be clean. And while his helpers watched, the leper, guess what, became whole just like that. He was healed right away. Only God's son could do that. The helpers knew that they had a wonderful master. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this story, and I hope that after um, we end our time together that you will go and read the scriptures for yourself. Um, you can find um, this story from God's Word, the Bible, in Matthew chapter 4 through 7. Mark chapter 1 and also Luke chapter 6. And so I hope that you'll take the time um, with your family and read those together. So let's pray and let's ask the Lord to help us all um, be better helpers and look for ways that we can serve the Lord and show others how they can be saved as well. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for this day. Thank you for this time together where we can just sit and listen to your word. We pray, Lord, that you would take away any pride and any selfishness that's in our hearts. Lord, help us to be servants, help us to be helpers, and help us to look for ways um, that we can love others and help us to love our enemies like we talked about in our lesson, Lord. Help us to obey you, whatever it is you have, a, have for us, Lord. Help us to build our house, build our lives on you, the solid rock, Lord. And I pray that you would give these boys and girls a wonderful night's rest. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.